Greetings, everybody. I was going to talk today a little bit about, uh, going to do some some uh, touring a little bit, a little light touring, I'd say, on the Trek FX3. And I was looking at racks to go on the back, potentially, looking for something lightweight. So it makes sense to look at Bond Traeger since, obviously, Trek and Bond Traeger are the same company. So I decided to go ahead and get a Bond Traeger rack. Here it is, in essence. This is the Bond Traeger Back Rack Deluxe. I'm gonna stick it on a scale here and weigh it so we can see what the actual weight of it is, but it's pretty lightweight, so we'll do that now. Okay, we have it on the scale there. That's the rack, the arms, the hardware, and everything, and you can see that's about one pound and nine ounces. Now I have no idea whether I'm going to use all this hardware or not. I'll, I'll know that here in a minute when I go to mount it. But uh, we're going to get it put on there and then we'll uh, see if that um, might lighten up a bit. Okay, first step here. Got it so the bike's standing up. Down here, the Trek FX3 comes with a couple little holes right here. If you can see that. But they send you all of the hardware. And it already has Loctite on it, which is nice. There's one on this side. And one right here. That's what we start with. Kind of get you, I'm leaving it loose. Kind of get you going though. All right, the next step will be up here by the seat post. There's these little black tubes that you can pop out. And you're gonna use those to mount these bars in there. And then there's a little connector that connects them up here. So I'll show you that. All right, those little plastic plugs that were in there, in case you have trouble getting those out, it's easy just to screw them out. Since this is threaded already, it'll screw those plastic plugs out really pretty easy. So you just put these on here like this, and I just started them so that they're loose on each side. Okay, so this was the fun part. These little brackets right here, you have to put over this bar first. I don't know if you can see that. And then you feed these brackets up in there. I'm gonna turn it like this so you can see. You feed these brackets up in there and slide it up. And now we've got to level it. So we're gonna we're gonna see how level the ground is here. Then I'm gonna stick a level on there and get it level before I mark those bars because then you mark these bars and you cut them off at the length that you need. So where I live, finding a level piece of ground is like is like finding gold. So I had to move this over here to this level concrete. And then we'll just level this up and mark the cutoff. Okay, after doing this, it became apparent that this first cutoff line should work because really that's about level. And then they've got little rubber pieces to go on the end of those to cap them off. So you need a little bit of space for that. But uh, right at that cutoff line should do it. So you take them back off and cut those off with a hacksaw. So once you get those cut off, and they do cut rather easily because they are aluminum, you just get them placed, you level it up. There's set screws that go on the top. You tighten them down, and then you can start to tighten everything back up. These do uh, need to be sort of deburred with a file, kind of kind of clean them up a little bit. But uh, then once you get them on there, you can even them up and get your leveling right with a level. I use this you know, yellow level to do that. And it worked pretty well. So I'll get everything tightened up and show you the finished product. All right, here it is all tightened up. You can see that these all tightened in. Like I said, these do come with Loctite already on them, so that's good. They'll be a little tight since they've been painted. These bottom ones have been painted. Uh, and so they're a little tight going in, but um, these go in pretty well. Then you've got these things tightened up, and they've got these uh, rubber pieces here that go on the ends. This is all leveled out. And uh, like I said, the Trek comes with all the great attachment points, the FX3, so it's easy to put on. And there it is. Um, I even weighed the pieces after I cut those pieces off that we didn't need. That takes another ounce off. So, you know, pretty lightweight uh, setup, honestly. Not bad. And it'll be ready for uh, some panniers maybe at some point. So that's it. Have a great day, guys.